we have here some examples of, uh, of ARM-based uh, uh, SOCs in wearable devices. Um, most of these are for humans, but this one starting here is on the left is for a dog. Uh, what the whistle activity monitor is, is it's a, um, it's a a GPS locator and activity monitor for your dog. So you basically you clip it onto the uh, the dog's uh, collar like that, and it will record you know where your dog is, and it will record how much activity monitoring. Oh, sorry, how much activity it has uh, it has done. So there are a lot of um, of activity monitors for for people, but this is really I think one of the only ones for for dogs. But the uh, Cortex M4 here microcontroller um, gives it great battery life, which is really important in devices like these. You don't need want to be charging them a lot. You want to uh, just have them collecting information. Um, the Misfit Shine here is one of the um, uh, the activity monitors available that's based on ARM. Uh, this one has different mountings that it can uh, be used with. So this one is rubber here. Uh, so there are also ones which allow it to be clipped to a pocket or um, or around your uh, your ankle if you want to measure cycling. So this one um, does the normal walking, uh, running, you know that kind of thing, calorie counting. Uh, and again, this is based on a Cortex uh, microcontroller and Cortex M3 based design. Uh, and microcontrollers have. Uh, microcontrollers have really good energy efficiency. Um, they are not as powerful as applications processors, but uh, you know, for some applications, you don't need it, and um, something like this would do a really great job. What we've got here is the Oakley Airwave. Uh, so these are um, head-up uh, goggles with a heads-up display down the bottom and down there. So you can uh, get information, these, these um, monitor GPS locations, so you can get information on your speed and where you are, that kind of thing, um, which is a really cool cool thing for, uh, for snowboarders to, to have. This uses a Cortex-A9 uh, based process, uh, based SOC from Texas Instruments. And um, because there's a bit more function, you know, more um, rich functionality uh, in this device, it needs the, the extra power um, that a, a, a Cortex-A9 processor can provide. Uh, this is the Omate True Smart, which uh, you may have seen already. Uh, so this runs um, full Android. You can see here. So this is basically a phone in, in a watch. Uh, the Cortex A7 uh, based processor in this uh, gives it really good energy efficiency and allows it to run on a small battery.